13-73. Footstray 12-6-78. Five points between the teams. And this is the start of the third quarter. Big punch away. Michael Cole copped it in the back. Kicked off the ground by Bolton. Over to Couch. Couch to Shane Williams. Williams from half forward. Here come the Cats. Down towards the forward line. Gronawigan is there. Well done. And takes the mark in the last line of defence. He hooks it wide. He's looking for Dougie Hawkins. Hawkins been a very good player today. The bounce beats him. Oh, now it comes back to uh, Hawkins. Greg Williams dives on top of the ball and the umpire said he copped it too high and Greg Williams will take this free kick halfway between centre wing and half forward flank. Yes, he's virtually favouring the flank. He's looking for a lead. Can he find one? He's taking plenty of time. He normally likes to hand pass. This time he's forced to kick and it drops straight into the hands of Foster who didn't take the mark. Should have. With Buse now, he's caught, but a hand pass away, it's taken out here, and Cole uses his pace, tries to get away from Hardy, who tried to trip him. Cole gets around McLean, and now he shoots into the forward pocket, Ablett up high, got into the back of the opposition, taken by Ford of Footscray. Ford kicks long, back to uh, the half-back zone, in there is Burke, can't take, yes, he has taken the mark for Geelong, wanted to get that hand pass out to Williams, but it was knocked away from him, over the boundary line, and we'll see a boundary throw in taking place. We saw a great first quarter of football here this afternoon where Geelong kicked seven, seven goals nine, Footscray seven goals three. And at uh, half-time, as you know, only five points between the teams. There's a hurry kick. It was by uh, Royal. And that's all that's time-wasting, is it? No, said the umpire. I think they're having second thoughts of that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have played it, but still. It is there, the rule is there, but as we see, Steve McPherson receiving this free kick on centre wing. Oh, long, low trajectory kick. That's a great mark, Hocking. Beautiful football to Robert Neal. Neal having an excellent day again after a great day against Collingwood last week. Is that 10 or 20? 10 kicks. Burke. Up forward, Burke has taken the mark. Good mark by Burke in front of Purser, playing on now. The ball floating badly down toward Ablett. Cordy couldn't take it. That was Neil Cordy. Tried to get the half. Williams got a hand pass to Ablett. Ablett just about threw that one overhead, taken by Morgan. Morgan's hand pass into the forward pocket. Views hand passes again. He's gone all the dice. He's caught. Should have been penalised. The umpire calls play on. Picked up by Ablett. Ablett shoots toward goal. The left foot shot's close. Touched off the hands of Ford and <laughs> threw for one behind. Yeah. See, I don't know how Alderdice didn't get penalised for I holding agree. the ball. I thought he had plenty of time to get rid of it and he was caught red hot holding the ball. Did they? mucked around with that the scoreboard is 78 to 74 four points of difference in favor of Footscray uh, Geelong definitely should have scored a goal in that passage of play in my book as we see uh, Burke had us taken away there by Royal Brian Royal has had a numerous possessions today as usual in fact he's had 18 kicks as the ball comes well, up Beasley Beasley's already kicked four goals and he marks in front of Bernard Tui about 45 metres out from goal on a 45 degree angle well, that bit of breeze that is there Peter will be nearly right in his face great kick though Beasley he'll need he, to Jack? be he, yes he's a great kick he'll need to be here and also keep it on line because the kick is blowing slightly from left to right but mainly dead on kick by Beasley really holding up it won't, won't Make the distance, well, hasn't got the accuracy, the umpire blows the whistle, it's a free kick going Geelong's way, and it will be taken by Mark Foss. Foss can see Terry Bright down there by himself, he went to kick it to him, but uh, changed his mind. He's been a great player in my book today, Boss, he's been playing on Jimmy Edmund, I think he's uh, been just in front, oh, there's a mark, a good mark to Williams, oh, I don't know whether they should be handballing all the time like that, Buse, oh, hand pass to a player with his back turn, now it's Purser. Kicks it wide. Shane Williams, high. A hand pass back to Reed, who was covered. To Buse. He's caught. Tries to punch it away. Good umpiring to let it go. Now it's Royal to Hawkins. Hawkins a short pass. Kicked away by Hocking. Tremendous defence by the young back man. Oh, too high. Yeah, look, oh, he ducked the head. I wouldn't have paid it, Jack. I thought that was great umpire. Well, he certainly didn't pay We've got a lot of action down here at Cardinia Park. The first... Fourth minute has gone in the third quarter <laughs> and there's only four points between the teams. That's what I was trying to tell you in the first place. About 40 metres out from Footscray's goal. The action takes place. It comes to Edmund. He hand passes wide to Hawkins. Hawkins kicks high. Beasley under the ball as is Tui. They jockey for position. They can't get it. A chance for Daniels. Oh. Touch. I don't think Daniels got the boot to it. No. He was running away from us. Very hard to tell. But the umpire didn't hesitate to say the ball was touched through 4-1 behind. 74 playing 79. Puts grade five points in front. And two he kicks in from full back. Yes, Bernard. That's a trip. It has to go to the man in front, I would think, against.
against Andrew Person. I reckon he's done really well, Damien Burke, at that uh, centre bounce area. Look at that kick, too. I think he's done better than Darren Funnigan. There's Ablett again flying. Couch. Oh, he should have given it the first time, the hand pass. Now he ducks back. Good play. Older dice. Out he comes. Oh, nearly a mark. Taken away there by Williams. Over to Bright. Or is it Ablett? It's Bright. Look, look. 32 points, yes. wasn't it? And What's then they got back to nine points behind at one stage at the end of the first quarter. It's been a great effort by Geelong to get back in the game. Now they're fighting on again as we see Greg Williams go in after he's at the ball. Well done. Over to Andrew Buse. Brilliant play. Nearly lost his shorts. A lovely hand pass to Murray Whitcomb. He kicks long. He's looking for Craig Alderdice. Oh, was he into his back, Michael Ford? He's doing well at fullback. <laughs> Robert Neal went in after it. Nearly got unloaded. But the ball, this is a great game. Jack, I'm enjoying this. Oh, yeah, there's stuff down. That's where angels fear to tread down there, the way they were going at each other, like two express trains. But uh, luckily enough, someone switched the tracks and they missed the collision. Boundary throw in now. Tapped down by Big Flanning and Neil Cordy in trouble. May have been nuts in the back. Is taken here by... Uh, Ryan Cordy, a hand pass came out to Hardy. He goes to Wallace all by himself again. No one to kick to. He's going to have to balk back. That he does. Went for a bounce and lost it. Now the lead has been made by Edmund, who came downfield to try and help out. Boss in front oh, of Edmund with the ball in front of him. Boss gets it back to Reed. Reed is caught. Gets it to Greg Williams. The left hand bounce. Straightens himself up. Goes with a right foot kick, which wobbles off the boot. No one can take it. Clearly a chance for Geelong. If Ablett can get out, he just about... He throws that ball in my, for my book. Free kick. Free kick. Will be paid to He's Cole. Done. Ablett's done two of those. Yes. Jack, over his head. He actually does punch it, but I think it, it looks like a throw, like a... He's hooking it back over his head in yeah. the ungainly fashion. Very Some dicey. Some umpires, I reckon, have paid that a throw. Yeah, it's a very dicey one. But now it's Cole. A chance to put Geelong another six points in front. Geelong are leading by one point. We're in seven and, seven and a half minutes. Only seven and a half into the third turn. The kick for goal. Way off target from here. Bad shot, Pete. Shocking. Geelong 11-15. Well, that's the story of the scoreboard, isn't it? 11-15 to 12-7. Any young kid who is watching the replay, that's not how you kick a ball. He took two steps then to try and kick that. There was no balance whatsoever. Oh, no. This kid, I've been very impressed with Damien Burke today. That was a tremendous mark as he ran with the flight of the ball. He's on half forward plank. He goes for the long kick. It's a booming kick. Now, Ablett is caught behind. It's punched away to uh, Morgan. It comes to Neil. Robert Neil lines up the goals. He's wide again, and Geelong have not got their kicking boots on today, Jack. No, they have not. Footscray, 12 goals, 7, 79. Geelong, 11 goals, 16, 82. Only three points between the teams, but Geelong, 27 shots to Footscray's 19. The ball delivered out towards Hawkins, opposed to Shane Williams. They've had a great duel, and I don't know about which way you'd give the honours out there. I think Hawkins may be a shade in front, but Shane Williams has done a good job on yeah, it. Yeah, I agree with you. I think you'd have to go for Hawkins, but Shane Williams has done some nice things, and he is pressurising Doug Hawkins, uh, which is very, very important. There's Brian Royal having his 19th kick. He hooks it back. Steve McPherson and Boss. Boss has been a terrific player. Now it's Whitcomb. Jimmy Edmund goes in after it. Now it's Michael McLean, number 51. And the, umpire, and the umpires have had an excellent day in my book, uh, Peter Howe and Rowan Soares. Peter Howe in control of the situation now. On centre wing on the outer side of the ground, Big Burke tries to get it down and did well too. Got it down to Greg Williams who was appealing for the free oh. kick and will be paid. He's, that... he's slow, isn't he? But he, he's, he's so clever. Look at that. Over to Robert Neal. I'll tell you what, if you're a grouter plane, you just keep running past him all day, you get a million kicks as we see Ablett brilliant play. Over to Terry Bright, they look very like brilliant play. Bright should have handball. He elects to go the kick. And it's another point. Yes, yeah, should have gone the hand pass. We've seen quite a bit of that today with Geelong, though, Peter. You've commented on that quite a few times. And Terry Bright has kicked three goals, but uh, should have gone the handball on that occasion. 11 17 83 to 12 7 79. Geelong holding on in this the third quarter. But we and expects a fireworks soon. Williams about to break away, but there was a Geelong free kick going to Shane Williams. Oh. Shane Williams gets on the left foot and goes into the forward pocket. All the dice out in front of Ford. Neither take the mark. Rodder Wigan picks up. Where can he go? He can't go very far. Van Kick has found the opposition in Couch. Now Couch will take a shot. He's a left-footed player. He's got a funny kicking style, Paul Couch. He seems to walk in stiff-legged or something. You, what's this, Jack? Does he see that? 
very, very stiff legged, and then bang. Well, as he what's he done? It, it's coming back, but not enough. And gee, they should be goals in front with the play they've had. Well, Geelong at half time were 10 goals 13. They have now kicked one goal five for the quarter in the space of 10 and a half minutes. Forward from the full back position. Footscray getting a bit bogged down here. They can't move the ball away from the half back line. Couch again for Geelong. Hand passing to Big Flanagan, a hand pass in toward Cole. Cole got it to ground, taken by Grotter Wig, and a small kick the opposition again. And Big Darren Flanagan will go back and take the shot for goal. Now he's just about made the distance there. He's about 55 to 60 metres out. He's a good kick. He's gone for a punt kick off the hand. Oh! Ablett, you heard the roar of the Geelong fans then as Ablett rose high in the pack, took the mark, point blank range, and no worries about this one for mine. He has kicked one goal, seven, I think. He's the player that could win them the game in my book. Well, he's not done bad. One goal eight he's now kicked. Well, oh. this should make it two goals eight because surely he can't miss this one. 14 kicks he's had. He'll put this one nearly over the red hickey stand. On its way, up into the stand it travels. The umpire set a goal to Gary Ablett. Well, they're in a spot of bother now, Pete. Centre bounce about to take place. They have to get going because they're bogging down, like I said. Hawkins ducked his head, got a hand pass out of the pack. It comes down to Whitcomb, but a free kick had been paid upfield to Brian Royal. He'll take this kick toward the half forward line. Beasley's leading the kick in that direction. Beasley over the top. Oh, had the hand to Nearly. it. Couldn't hold it. The umpire hasn't awarded it. So now to play on is the call. And from Whitcomb, the hand pass comes down to Greg Williams, down toward the centre wing position. Hardy a bit late on the scene. Daniels is there, got tripped. Couch is there, broke the tackle very well. Hand passes back out, taken by Morgan, back to Couch. Couch on the left hand, gets it to Bright. Bright looks downfield, looking for a lead, he sees one. It's Shane Williams up high, can't take it. Backing up is Brian Cordy, Shane Williams tapped it down. Michael Cole put it down, called play on. Wallace picks up the foot straight, up toward Royal. Royal on the half forward zone, nearly on the wing. Up toward McPherson, a goal can come out of this. McPherson can run right in the open goals. He shoots, but he's off target. Oh, bad miss. Bad miss by McPherson. Could have come right in, given it to BSC. I've done anything, had a hurried shot from one behind. He could have run, he should have run right in. He just, uh, well, I suppose he didn't want to mess it up. It's easy to be wise after the event. There's Alan Daniels against Bolton. Oh, Bolton had to beat three players. In fact, Jimmy Edmund went in after it. Good umpiring by umpire Saws to just let it go. They're making the players earn their kicks, and this is a terrific game of football. Well, uh, sorry, ten points between the teams with Geelong leading by that margin. We're getting toward the 14-minute mark of the third term. And now Williams, another hand pass out of trouble to Bolton to Morgan Court. The umpire could have penalised that. He hasn't done so. Daniels breaks the tackle. Gets a small kick back toward the half-forward zone. Punch the ground. McLean's there for Footscray. A small kick comes away toward Royal. A hand pass to Edmund. A chance for Footscray. He's wrong-footed. He looks for Beasley. The bandit does the roving. Beasley takes the mark. Good football, Jimmy Edmund. Well-placed kick to his full forward, who is now only 15 metres out from goal. And Footscray had a two-pronged attack with Bandit awaiting the crumb. He's four kicked, goals. Well, he's kicked four goals. He should kick this. He's a great kick for goal, Beasley. Great play by Edmund. He looked for Beasley. Beasley was far too tall there for Bernard Tui. He was caught underneath the ball. And uh, seven kicks to Beasley as he stabs at that ball. The goal up by him doesn't have to move too often. When Beasley kicks for goal, that's his fifth. And Footscray's 13th. So 13 goals, 8. 86 to Footscray. Geelong, 12, 18, 90. Four points the difference. An excellent play today, Boss, playing on Jimmy Edmund. He hooks it towards half-forward Ablett and Purser. Over the back, Brian Cordy. Hooks it wide, Bahaja. Malcolm Reed. that'll be 15 metres, will it? No, said umpire Soares. No, he didn't play the 15. Bahaja going short, up to Hawkins. He's had a lot of possessions. Hawkins, torpedo punt, worked toward Edmund with a drop on Boss. A little nudge out, but Boss took the front berth. But first it's a chance. He shoots toward goal. I think he may have just got this. Yes, it's a goal! That Geelong should be further in front, but I think Footscray's forward line looks more dangerous with Beasley up there, Jack. Yes, but they're having trouble getting it up there at times. Now, Purser beaten by Burke, taken by Shane Williams, kicked out toward the half-forward zone, where Morgan, who has a lot of pace, is out in front of Cordy. Cordy brings Morgan back into the game by kicking it off the ground. He, oh, there's nearly a throw again. It's one of those funny hand passes. Couch gets it out. A chance now for Geelong to come forward. Oh, bad hand pass. Gee, there, they hand pass badly at times to players who are covered good play by Purser to Hardy 
Hardy the short one. Bahaja waits over the back. Bahaja comes away with a football up towards half forward. Jimmy Edmund over the back. Now it's hocking. Well done, Edmund. Edmund onto the left foot. He hooks it back. What a good looking shot. What a goal. A beautiful goal by the Footscray captain. 91 playing 98. Footscray are leading. You're on Sevens Big League. We're nearly 19 minutes into the third term. Burke doing well in the centre bounces. Wallace goes in after it for Footscray. It's shoveled out. Oh, got Greg tipped. Williams copped that high. And, uh, well, it could have been a trip or whatever. Anyway, the umpire said it was too high. Williams, centre of the ground. He's going for the torpedo, punt. Cordy, uncontested. That's not good play by the Geelong forwards. I to... think the kick from Williams, I expected a bit longer, Peter. Well, he's not a long kick. They ought to know how far he can kick the football. As we see Cordy from centre-half back kicking it wide. Shane Williams and oh, Hawkins. That's a free... Should have been a free kick to Geelong there as the kick-out. It's a couch, left foot. Ablett, and the umpire said it was against Gary But he does use his body a bit. Yes, well. And in, the umpire uh, was right there. You can't yeah. dispute his oh, position. I'm not going to knock that one. I think he used his hip to get into Cordy. Cordy's done a fair job, actually. Well, he was kickless until he went on to Ablett. And he had... Uh, now he's, he's had, had eight kicks, so, yes, you know... He's, he's done all right. He's done quite well. Purse is the target, and he's been found, too. Plays well for a big man. Oh, was he tripped by Burke? I thought he may have been, or did he lose his footing? The umpire said no infringement there, so a boundary throw in taking place. Now, we're on centre wing on the outer side of Cardinia Park. No breeze favouring either, either end. The ground in good nick. Centre looks a little bit muddy, but it's not too bad, so it's a perfect day for football. Andrew Buse kicked the downfield there. Hardy couldn't get to it, nor could anybody else, and we'll see a boundary throw in. Three points, sorry, seven points between the teams. Footscray are leading by that margin, but Geelong in attack from their half-forward zone. Yes, half-forward flank. Persa and Burke. It's been a terrific duel between those two. There's uh, Brad Hardy, a long, booming kick. Murray Whitcomb ducks back. He'll probably run onto the right foot here. He'll want to play on. No, he elects to go back. And he'll go for the kick down the centre wing area. Darren Burke. No mark. Should have held that one. Yes, but he's, he's, uh, gee, he's shown a bit of form today. I think uh, you know, he had a bit of a lapse last year. He looked like being anything, uh, Darren Burke. He's starting to really show a bit, planning and resting up at full forward at the moment. There's uh, Greg Williams. Well done. Beautifully played. Onto the left foot. Ablett. Ablett. Yes, you can't keep him out of the game for long, Jack. No, he broke right across the front of that pack and uh, will take this shot for goal. He's had seven marks. He's kicked two goals, nine, I think, from memory. 2-8. 2-8. He had the eight points before a goal. Could it be 3-8? It is. So, once again, scores tighten up Kennedy of Park. It's one point between the teams with Footscray leading. Yes, and uh, Ablett, he's been a very, very dangerous player. And I think it's been lucky for Footscray. He's been kicking poorly. There's Hocking. Oh, he's an impressive player, Hocking. A beautiful hand pass. Here goes Bolton. Bolton he bolt, bounces right. the ball. He is like a bolting racehorse as he kicks it long. He's looking for someone to take a mark. Here's a chance. Morgan into the open goal goes Darren Morgan and the catch hit the front by five points. Yes, on the scoreboard at Cardinia Park. This is the big league scoreboard, of course. Butch Gray, 15 goals, 8 98. Geelong have moved on now to 14 goals, 19. Royal was in two minds as where, to where to go. Malin being held by Bolton. The umpire picked it up. And now Malin's free kick could have been 15 metres too. He's been penalised about oh, one foot six in the I old think, I think the it. umpire thought that Malin could have taken that hand pass back. Right. Can he find his full forward in Beasley? He kicks high. Well, can Beasley take the mark now? The Rovers will be there. Beasley's in the pack. The ball thumped out of the pack. A chance for Malcolm Reed. Oh. As he, he can't pick it up cleanly. Bahaja closes the gap on him. Reed balks around. Coolly oh. played. And goes straight into the hands of Royal. He was about to run into goal. Realised he would have been cut off. He's going back now to take the shot. He'd be out 35 to 40 metres. Five points between the teams. We're approaching the 28-minute mark of the third turn. On seventh big league, all the action from Cadenia Park as Royal goes goalward. It's going to be close. It's a goal to Footscray, and Footscray back in front. Flanagan has gone off the ground, and coming on is Burke, and I think that's a good move. I reckon Burke's uh, done as well as Persa at the centre bounces. There's Royal having another kick. That one went straight up in the air. Malin against Bolton. Here's a chance for Footscray again through Steve McPherson. Left foot looking for Sewell. Sewell at well the done. base of the pack. He's got it. Sprints away. 
Hand pass to Bamblett, who's had a quiet day. He ducks away onto the right foot. He straightens up. He fires at the goals. And it's a beautiful goal kicked by Les Bamblett. Or forward pocket, whatever you want to call him, is a very valuable contribution. There's Burke. Oh, he gets it out the centre again. Players go in after it. And the umpire still calling play on a chance for Geelong as we see Shane Williams get it out of the pack. Ablett ducks back. Oh, he braced himself. Oh, nearly took it on the second bite. No, said the umpire. As we see Neil Cordy go wide. He finds Wallace. Wallace on half-back flank, a short one. I oh, think that bad. could have been out of bounds on the full. Yeah, it's not a good kick on that occasion. Looking for Hawkins. Now the free kick has been paid and has been driven right down to the half forward zone. Hardy was up high. Foster's there for Footstray. Nearly ran himself into trouble. Came back nicely and kicks up towards Hawkins. But coming in was Sewell. Shane Williams is there. He was the fellow who just kicked it downfield for Geelong. It's been taken away. Steve McPherson to Beasley. Oh, should have been a free kick to Beasley. In my book, they ran straight at him with not... Didn't even look at the football. Jimmy Edmund. Squeak. He's got it. Oh, can't get in the kick. Hocking. Ducks away. Beautiful play. Malcolm Reed, handball, Greg Williams, Robert Neal, and here come the Cats. Robert Neal has got a panic to run in if he wants to. Some great shepherding going on by Morgan. Neal hooks it back. Not a good kick, but lucks of fortune as it favours Couch. Couch to Bolton. Loose man, he should give it to Cole. Siren! Oh, he should have given it to Cole. Siren. There's the siren. That goal won't be counted. No, too long, too long. He just took a couple steps too many. So at three-quarter time, in an exciting game of football at Cardinia Park, you can't get them much closer. Putzgray, 17 goals, 8. 110. And the scoreboard wrong there. They've got 109 up, but it's 14 goals, 19, 100.